The NSA has violated the rules on surveillance and even US court rulings thousands of times per year for several years. It's emerged from fresh revelations based on data leaked by Edward Snowden. Live to Washington, our correspondent Guyane Chichikans there. Hi, Guyane. Um, this adds uh, trouble upon trouble, really, doesn't it, uh, for the NSA? Already uh, adding to the pressure they're currently under, yeah? That's right, Kevin. The papers that Washington Post has obtained, apparently through Edward Snowden, show that the NSA decided it did not always need to report the quote-unquote unintended surveillance of Americans. A leaked NSA internal audit for the year 2012 shows thousands of violations, and those are the ones that the NSA itself has documented. Another paper provides some details on how the agency avoids scrutiny from its uh, supposed overseers at the Justice Department. NSA analysts are instructed to give only a broad rationale for, for targeting someone, and the analysts are specifically warned that uh, they must not provide the evidence on which they base their suspicion. The NSA defends itself by saying the information is available if requested by uh, overseers. But generally, from these documents, we get the impression that not only has the public been in the dark about these programs, but also those who are supposed to provide oversight. One of the documents, for instance, shows that the Foreign Intelligence uh, um, Surveillance Court, which has the authority uh, over some NSA operations, did not learn about a new collection method until it had been in operation for many months. The court ruled it unconstitutional. So in uh, 2011, the court ordered the NSA to comply with standard privacy protections uh, or stop the program. But the Obama administration has fought a freedom of information lawsuit. So the administration's main shield for these programs is secrecy. It can brush off any opinions on state secrets grounds, basically. Mm. I mean, Washington's promised a, a full, transparent and independent investigation here. What's that probe likely to uh, lead to? What's going to come out of it? What's the word on the street? Well, uh, Edward Snowden's revelations have shown that the administration lied about NSA snooping, and specifically the director of in, uh, national intelligence, James Clapper, when testifying in Congress two years ago to a question about whether the agency collects data on millions of Americans, he responded no. A month ago, he had to apologize for misleading a Senate hearing. That was only because of Snowden's revelations. As part of the administration's damage control efforts, President Obama uh, announced last week that an independent panel of outsiders would be set up to investigate concerns about the scale of NSA surveillance. Imagine, imagine everybody's surprise when he tasked J James Clapper to establish the so-called independent panel. Critics said it, it was like putting a fox in charge of the hen house. The White House had to dampen controversy over the role of the director of national intelligence in a panel reviewing surveillance, uh, insisting that uh, he would neither lead uh, the panel nor choose the members. Uh, the White House said um, the panel members are being selected by the White House in consultation with the intelligence community. Uh, still, I mean, lots of questions as to what review such a pre-selected panel mm -hmm. can actually deliver. Absolutely. Well, we'll be following that story with your help. Ghana Chichikan, our correspondent in Washington, D.C. Thanks very much for now.